deep in the underworld, there is a monster. A powerful monster that set a curse on the whole overworld. You must break the curse. Blue Rune Game. Deep Magic. Hey YouTube, welcome to another gaming video. This video, this game, I mean, it's, it's a free indie game made with Game Maker, which is the reason I discovered it, because back when I was more active myself with Game Maker, I played a lot of Game Maker games. A lot of them were fun and cool, and then there's some that are just horrible and broken and really dumb 12-year-old maze games that are horrible. And sometime I will be showing off some of my games on the channel here, too. But we're going to play Deep Magic. I'm going to show you guys a tutorial and then jump right into the game. And... I want to say, though, that I'll have a link to the, just in the description to this game, as well as the brother of this game. Sorry, the brother of the creator of this game playing it. Um, yeah, let's get started here. He, he derped through the game, and he didn't even finish it. He only did, like, two 20-minute episodes of the game, and then, uh, the last video we uploaded was two years ago, and so... I'm going to send it to him, hopefully he sees it, but I don't think he's doing any more of this. Anyways, we got arrow keys or WASD to move and use left button to fire spells. Whoops, I don't know how to play this game. Hmm. Come up to here. Use the E key to add, go to the stats menu. So, the red bars are health, blue is mana or how much power we have to shoot spells. And then these are all the spells we can use with different ranks. We're only casters level 1, so we can use this spell, and that's it. Stand near a mana pool to recharge your mana, or stand near a health pool to recharge your health. Hit a button with a magic, and it will destroy all the walls of that same color. We'll go ahead and do that here. Whoops, I missed. Come on. There we go. And our mana reloads slowly, but it does reload. Get potions to refill your mana and health. One of the things he was doing in derping through these levels is he wasn't even dodging the bad guy's fire. Whoops. Now we do need some of this. May just use it. On. Whoops. We've got a pretty tough bad guy here, though. The eye there. Whoops. Pretty tough. Anyways, there's the tutorial. Now let's start a new game here. This is our main room here. We can't really do much here except for reload our mana at the moment and our health, which is full. And here's a slight glitch in the game. It looks like this is selected when this one actually is. Just do that, you're good to go. Oh, let's come down to here and... Here we go. Could have been a little more efficient. Whoops. Ah, come on. Not 100% accurate here. Now there I actually should have used the, this spell. Power of 1 costs 0 mana. This one costs 1 mana and has a power of 2. So it's a more powerful spell but also a more expensive spell. Get this bottle here to reload. We'll be talking about all these different spells and stuff as we go along. And I'll be showing you what their uses are for hard to dodge in this space, but you can. I'm gonna come down here, because it's easier to dodge. Now, another thing, too, is you can hit stuff off-screen, if you know it is there. I'm gonna let this go to, like, 10. I'm gonna reload to 10. 8. 
9, 10. Whoops. Right, this spell curves down. I hate this spell. I'm gonna spam this one. See, we hit something. Which, when I run back through this level, I'll actually show you guys what that thing was that we hit. I will say, though, that it's a flying enemy. Because the fly most of the flying enemies, their experience orbs come to you. And the stationary enemies just drop them on the ground. Which is kind of a cool little aspect of the game. Go ahead and reload. Our secondary spell here. Actually, we're already at level 4, so we can use this spell. I'll use that... I'll use it now just to show you how horrible of a spell it is. I mean, it's already really power-hungry with a mana cost of 10 and... Power of 30 for a basic needle spell. We have our simple water spell unlocked, we've got fire spell unlocked, mind spell, and PSY spell. Can't get snow spell yet. We're only a level 4 wizard. Oops, took a hit there. And it has to reload, as you can see. Ick. Why can I not shoot? There we go. Much better. Because this is the end of the level, I can just shoot that without worrying about using the free one. Come down here and get this experience that we've just unlocked. There, actually, I missed it, but the green button is over on the right side as well. If you get the green button, you can jump up there and get it yourself instead of hitting this one. Which, eh, a little bit of a time saver because you don't have to go back there, but see, there's the green button on the other side. So we are back here. Always reload your man health first, mana second. At which he was reload. The, the brother of the creator was reloading his mana first. Like they can kill you if you do that. Always reload health first. Anyways, we are level four. This spell's really horrible and ugly. And I don't. Maybe if you need just one hit to kill something, sure. Like in fact, let's just out of curiosity go back through the first level with this. Like that, see? For something like that, it's a spell. It's a spell that works, but for everything else, it reloads so slow and really horrible. And now we're level 5. This lovely snow spell. Now you can't jump back up there, so... You're not getting that potion. Watch this. Actually, I need to show you guys what's down here. See? One of those purple dudes. And we got this. We got this level easy, man. You know, something interesting that, same thing with Minecraft as well, just any game. I'm always looking to the right to see my clock and see how long I've been going, and sometimes I think it's been longer when it actually hasn't been. Which, like, okay, you know, you've heard that time flies when you're having fun, which is true for me to an extent. Sometimes I'm having not super whole lot of fun, but I'm having fun. And then I look and I'm like, wait, it's only... 30? I thought it was more like 5. Oh well. And other times when I'm like kind of bored, not really having fun. Whoops. Too bad here. Then it. Time goes slower and I'm like better at judging how long the time has been. I will say though, there are some spells where it, I'm not exactly sure what the difference is, what the advantage is. I'll be showing you those later on. We're gonna go on to the second level. I mean, we could have a level up here full time, but some of the higher levels are re really hard to get, and it's better to get more powerful crystals or orbs for that. Now here, it doesn't matter the order, because there's no bad guys here ever. Your guild, basically. And I only know that because... Because 
I've looked at the source for this game, which you can download the source and mess around with it. Which I do plan to do, is take a look at it. I looked at it once and it was having a few weird bugs in it. Probably something with my computer. I'm not sure what was causing them. But... Fight fire with ice. No, in this case. So... But yeah, I will make some levels easier just for the fun of it. Get this here. There we go. Now the reason I'm not going down there to get those just yet is because these guys dropped them instead of making them fly to me, so... It's... Oh shoot. More efficient. I need more mana. More efficient to come down there and get it. Now those, I'll show you later on, but those, the ones, the, the experience orbs that follow you, they will eventually just go around in a circle pattern if you sit there and not actually, you won't actually pick them up. So yes, I'm going to reload down here, although I don't first. First I need to get that other one because he drops his stuff. What am I talking about? See, I had to come back down here for it. If I didn't know what was ahead, I would go back and reload my mana, although it's actually already reloaded anyways. But, you know. What are we using anyways? We're using a power 8 mana cost 3 spell. This is 4 for 15. So this is a much better spell. Or dark spell is really cool. Thing with this spell, which I will show you when we get back to the loading room. So close to level 8. Now to get these, you have to have the portal spell. Only disappointment about this little how do you get it easter egg kind of a thing is by the time you get that portal spell, there's much there are more powerful experience level crystals. Way more powerful ones. So we're back here. I've already reloaded, and I'm going to show you something which... It might be faster to reload using this, I'm not sure. I missed. There we go. But you can come down to here, there's no fall damage. You can get some experience. And also reload on spells. Which it might be faster to come down here, yay, level 8. But I'm not sure if it is, so I'm going to be testing in this series. To see which is faster. Coming down here and reloading using the potions. How did I get hurt? I don't know how I got hurt. That's weird. I'm gonna come back over here and see. No fall damage. So I have honestly no idea then. Unless there was a glitch with getting hit by one of these, I have no idea. Shouldn't be friendly fire. Anyways, lower your mana from that experiment and move on to his next level. I'm gonna use this spell for a bit to show you guys what it's like. Now, I think it's kind of unfair that they can shoot their needle spells faster than I can. Also, I think I've already been... I think I've already encountered one, but there is. I'll show you over here. Something to watch out for on this level are these two things, right? There. They do actually hurt you. you want to avoid those. Ow. Kind of mild, though. And, like, sometimes they... Sometimes it looks like they don't, but I think they do every time. When the brother was playing it, he, like, said they don't hurt you, but they do. Although they are kind of spooky the first time you encounter them. You're not expecting it, but the icicles fall down and hurt you. These guys are really tough. With three power forties to hit them. That was 
is 3 plus... No, that's 10. Plus 8, so that was 18. We used 18 mana as opposed to using... 15? So, yeah, less efficient. That in mind when we run this level again. By the time we run this level again, we'll definitely have a higher level, I believe. Seems like you're going good until you get to some of the higher levels. Uh, and then you have to, like, use other different spells. We got a level 9 spell. This spell's cool. Watch this. Yeah, moon spell! Here we want to use this one. Let's just look. So this is power 8 for 33. 5 for 40. This one's better for straight on shots like this is. Go back here and get these. Being ever so closer to level 10. Caster's level 10. So for this test here, what I am going to do eventually is I'll go into a level and I will allow myself to take a certain number of damage. And then I'll come back here and regenerate and count the time and then I'll go hop up over there and get those other experience things and come back and see how long it took me to do that as opposed to just doing this. There we go, that looks better. I wasn't on top of it properly. Anyways, let's go through this level now. Jump up here. This guy to follow us. Two hits and we are not even hit once. One of these guys is over to the right. And... Oh. I got hit once, maybe twice from that. Okay, that is insured. Some of the spells have a question mark on the power. Like this one, which I will show off later on. Oops, I missed on that one. Shoot. There we go. We got him with this lesser spell that regens faster. I guess that's one advantage to using a lesser spell, is you can shoot more of them sooner. Hey, green. You're excited about something, and I don't know if it's the game music. I don't think it is. Probably what's going on in the other room. This is the point where we pretty much just have to wait. I could try and rebound a spell to him. But this is a better one, I mean. So, this is a bouncing spell, and we've also got this bouncing spell here. And star spell for a basic light spell. And this is 15 for 4, this is 25 for 4, so this one is better. And I can bounce a spell to him. Oops, I missed. Oh come on. I'm not I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not I don't rebound spells here very often, so yeah. Dude. Oh I hit the other one. So, yeah. <clears throat> we are kind of just waiting. I know waiting can be kind of boring, but seriously, go check out the uh, other kid, the, the brother of this guy playing it. Some of the comments he makes are funny, and just overall, him derping through the levels was kind of funny. Like, not even jumping to dodge the shots of them, and here we go. this experience as we come over to this side where it's safe. Getting closer to level 11. Now I could jump here and get those, but I know for a fact that there's a guy up here. Actually, I will. Get this guy after us. Get that. Come up to here. Get this. Oops, I missed one. 
two. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, we'll show you guys some cool spells here, like the moon spell we have unlocked. Cool moon spell. I'll do the moon spell later, because right here, I use like a fire spell. Trying not to get him after us. I'm not even sure if that was the most efficient spell to use on that guy, but they shoot fire back at us, so shoot fire back at Goodness, goodness, goodness. Shoot. Missed. There we go. This guy over here. There's another way I can get him, but I'll do it this way. There we go. Switch back to our really powerful spell. And we're just waiting for it to reload. Four. Five. Another thing, too, that I never thought about until I played this game is like you can put your mouse somewhere jump see where it's gonna aim when you're high enough and kind of make adjustments based on that doing damage we are taking this guy out those guys up there are after me already Mm, lots of waiting. Lots of waiting. Made that up right now. One more hit. Actually, I'm going to use... There we go. Be more efficient. Use... That would cost one mana for seven. Here's a really good spot to use the moon spell. We can see what we're doing. Moon spell. Wait for level eight. Follows your mouse. Ah! Ah, I got you. <laughs> ah, you can't get me. I got moon spell. Seven. Eight. Oops, I hit the ceiling. My bad. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Shoot, I hit the floor. What's wrong with me? I'm doing terrible at this. I'm gonna come over here, put him a little bit closer to the edge so it's a little bit easier to get. Six, seven, eight. There we go. You need to stop and show you that those just trickle you eventually. We'll do that in a bit. Now is the point where I'll show you the sun spell. Even though it's not the most efficient spell to use here. The Sun Spell has a power of question mark and a mana cost of 15. There are a few other spells like this one power of question mark and this one of power of question mark. And that's not applicable on power. I'll show you that one in later. But, this one is pretty obvious why the Sun Spell is a power of question mark. I don't know why the others are powers of question mark. But watch this. This is a pretty cool spell, though. Do that. Then... Does this. I used to use the sun spell here, like, all the time. Just use sun spell until they were all taken out. But it's not the most efficient spell. The most efficient spell is our star spell. Bounce off that wall and smack right into them. And wait. And shoot. Or you just wait a bunch, and then shoot a whole bunch. 
with that. Yeah, this level is one of the longer levels. The level after this, which takes a bit to get to, you have to level up a bunch before you can get there. It takes quite a bit to get there. Shoot two of them off. Yeah, watch your health go down. You don't know what hit you. You can't even... Well, you saw me already because you shot at me. Shoot another one off. Lots of waiting. Lots of waiting. Lots of waiting. Enough of that dumb lots of waiting song. It's actually not bad, but it's kind of like, that's a little weird. Anyways, yes, we are, we are waiting. Wouldn't it be cool if I could do two games at once? Like, in one stream? Like, you know, like, I could have a game on my phone, and then I could, well, I'd have to go behind the camera, but I could be, look at this game on my phone I'm playing, we're gonna do this, do this, and oh, I've loaded up on the other one. Which I have. Yay, we got one of them. Lots of waiting. Get two hits coming on this one. I want to go a little bit higher, because once you get to the lower ones, there's one more of these down below, and one of those black yeti guys, whatever you call them. Once you get down there, the angle they're coming at, they kind of bounce off the floor and miss. You do want to aim more a little bit dead center for them. I'm just tempted to just sit here and let it reload. Do one more. Let it reload and shoot a bunch of them at once. Which I think would take about the same amount of time. Yeah, it would be the same amount of time as it does to get one off periodically. So yeah, uh, this game, I'll talk about it a bit, it's fun. Um, when I first looked at this game, like, I was like, you know, make my own level or something. The source was confusing, and I didn't know really what was going on with it and some of the stuff, and I couldn't really figure it out enough to design my own levels and things. But if I looked at it now, I know that much more about code and stuff that I could say, oh yeah, this does this, that's what we have this for, and pick out where it, everything is. Get a whole bunch of them off now. Get three of them going down to the bottom there. We'll go over and show you guys that they're actually getting hit down there. If I look at it now, I could say, yeah, this is what's going on here. Got some nice green signs going on. We've actually damaged both of them, which is nice. That was probably from the sun spell. I might use the sun spell to get that black guy towards the end. But this one for definitely use these. Going down to do some damage. Should be taking out that turret stationary guy any time now. This one might do it. Oh, not quite, but close. This one? How about this one? There we go, that's good. Now I am going to let regen go 15 and use the sun spell. Because it's a cool spell. And I think with the chance that it gives us it, if all of the things that it shoots off hit the bad guy, it would, it would be really powerful. But they don't, that's why you got power of question mark. And We'll be kind of discussing theories as to why the others are power of question mark later on. When I, I have no idea why. Anyways, we'll use the sun spell here. That other guy a bunch. You 
know, I wish you had like a wall spell that would, um, like you could deflect these shots back, like turn on the wall spell, click and it would bounce off of, and I'm holding down, it uses up the spell and, or even maybe, oh yeah, and it would bounce off and I could deflect them back into here. Would be cool, because you see a bunch going off that way and just getting wasted. Which, it's pretty random. You know, like this time we had to get wasted. There we go, we're free to hop down here now. Come along this edge, make sure I get everything. Lots of experience. There we go, we beat the level. Go back over to here. Generate. And I think, I think for that test I mentioned, I might do that after I beat the boss, we'll see. But let's load up and go again. Now there's stuff you can do, like I've gone through and beaten most of the levels using only the sun spell. We're gonna go through... Let's do that, let's do first level only sun spell. Well, we're hitting buttons and stuff, I mean, I don't only use the sun spell. But it is possible, as you'll see here. Although inefficient, it is possible. It looks like this one can go through walls, but it can't, as I'll show you here. We only have one off at a time, too. We'll get this, although it's not completely necessary. Fire the sun spell. There we go, we had that flying purple dude. Another sun spell. This one should make it up there and kill that guy and hit this button too, I think. Yep. Although it didn't hit the button. But that's okay because we can actually jump up here. One of the trickier jumps. Be right on the edge. Oops, come on. Yay! You beat the level and it looks like end of the episode. Lots of waiting. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode of Deep Magic.